AI is going to impact many, many fields. And I want to give you a couple of examples today. Healthcare is one of the most important fields AI is going to transform. Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we'll be discussing about the impact of AI in healthcare domain. Now guys, healthcare is one of the domain which I'm really keenly interested to work in. And this is because of the complicated use case that is present in that. And apart from that, if you're able to crack a model, it will definitely benefit a whole lot of people from various countries. Now, if I consider an example of developing countries and developed countries, apart from that underdeveloped countries, right? So if I just consider developing countries and underdeveloped countries, according to WHO, that is World Health Organization, the proportion of population with respect to doctors is in the form of a ratio of 1000 is to 1. That basically means for every 1000 people, there should be one doctor. But if I consider developing countries like India, where the population is so huge, this proportion is somewhere between 1457 people is to one doctor. That basically means for every one doc doctor, there is around 1457 people, right? So if I consider now for the underdeveloped country, this proportion will be larger, right? Now in most of the underdeveloped countries, we, we, don't, we don't see much healthcare facilities available to all. With the introduction of some AI techniques in this specific domain, it will definitely help a huge lot of population in various underdeveloped countries and developing countries also. So recently Sundar Pichai who is the CEO of Google has also given a speech and he, was, he had actually showed a working model like how they were actually trying to predict heart diseases in India itself. They tried to do a test in the hospitals in India. I'll definitely show you that particular video in a while. But just understand guys what is the impact of this healthcare domain. So if you are already working into this particular healthcare domain, I would definitely tell you guys, learn data science and try to apply those things because you have the domain specific knowledge. In order to improve my domain specific knowledge, I've worked in various use cases from Kagas, like lung disease prediction, diabetes, diabetes predictions, apart from that heart disease prediction, heart stroke predictions, and if I consider malaria detection and many more examples I've already solved, but still I'm lacking that particular domain expertise. But the people who are already working in the healthcare domain, it will be definitely useful for them. All they have to know is that techniques of data science with some programming language like Python and R, with some statistics concept and inbuilt machine learning and deep learning algorithms, you will be able to crack the thing. So let us go ahead and try to now see a small demo from uh, Sundar Pichai, the uh, Google CEO. And definitely that would actually give you a kind of motivation to work in this particular sector. So let's go ahead. Last year at Google I.O., we announced Google AI. It's a collection of our teams and efforts to bring the benefits of AI to everyone. And we want this to work globally, so we are opening AI centers around the world. AI is going to impact many, many fields. And I want to give you a couple of examples today. Healthcare is one of the most important fields AI is going to transform. Last year, we announced our work on diabetic retinopathy, which is a leading cause of blindness, and we use deep learning to help doctors diagnose it earlier. And we've been running field trials since then at Aravind and Sankara hospitals in India, and the field trials are going really well. We are bringing expert diagnosis to places where trained doctors are scarce. It turned out, using the same retinal scans, there were things which humans quite didn't know to look for, but our AI systems offered more insights. Your same eye scan turns out holds information with which we can predict the five-year risk of you having an adverse cardiovascular event, heart attack or strokes. So to me, the interesting thing is that you know, more than what doctors could find in these eye scans, the machine learning systems offered newer insights. This could be the basis for a new non-invasive way to detect uh, cardiovascular risk. And we are working, we just published the research, and we are going to be working to bring this to field trials with our partners. Another area where AI can help is to actually help doctors predict medical events. Turns out doctors have a lot of difficult decisions to make, and for them, getting advance notice, say 24 to 48 hours before a patient is likely to get very sick has a tremendous difference in the outcome. 
And so we have put our machine learning systems to work. We've been working with our partners using de-identified medical records. And it turns out if you go and analyze over 100,000 data points per patient, more than any single doctor could analyze, we can actually quantitatively predict the chance of readmission 24 to 48 hours before, earlier than traditional methods. It gives doctors more time to act. We are publishing our paper on this later today, and we are looking forward to partnering with hospitals and medical institutions. Considering this, guys, some of the impacts of AI in healthcare domain are AI will definitely help in detection of diseases in the early stages. Now, if I take an example of cancer, right? If cancer is determined in the stage two and stage three, it is definitely impossible for the person to survive. You know, but if it is actually determined in the stage one, only in the early stages, then you can actually perform chemotherapy and you can save that particular patient. Nowadays, recently, a lot of Fitbit applications are coming up. What they are doing is that based on your activities daily, you know, they are recommending you the type of diet you should follow, you know, nutritional diet and based on that, you will definitely be healthy enough, right? It is, in short, that particular app is healthy fine you. So these are kind of things are coming. And again, guys, there are a whole lot of data that is coming up with respect to different, different type of tests that are done, right? And considering that particular test, a doctor comes and sees that particular test results and then they say you that what kind of things that you should follow, right? Now, suppose just understand that through a particular app, all these particular reports, all this particular data has been collected, right? And then a recommendation is actually given to you like what kind of test you should do, right? So all these things, based on your lifestyle, everything can be recorded and everything can be recommended to you in the early stages itself. It will definitely be beneficial for you. A whole lot of research is being going on. There are also some challenges with respect to the AI being implemented in healthcare guys. Let me just tell you some of the challenges over here. The first challenge is that there is a huge amount of money that is required to do this research, you know, for predicting diseases, for predicting some various things with respect to the healthcare domain. The other thing is that guys, the model accuracy should be very, very, very good. You know, if there is a minute change of 0.01% also, there is a huge impact in the model accuracy. Just understand guys, if the person is having a cancer and your model predicts that the person is not having a cancer, right? This is a huge mistake. Here, the person is being skipped and his, the model is basically saying that he's not having a cancer. That may impact his whole family. Right? But just consider if a model also says even though he does not have a cancer, the model predicted that he had a cancer. Right? Then the person can go and do some other test right? to determine or to um, see whether that person is having that or not. But vice versa, it becomes a very challenging task. Considering this guys, the model accuracy should be very very good. Okay, when if you discuss about the confusion matrix, the type 1 and type 2 error based on the problem statements needs to be considered very heavily. Both can have a huge impact. Considering this guys, these are some of the challenges. One more challenge is about data security. Now guys, information related to health, right? This data need to be secured a lot, right? Even governments are coming up with different, different things. And the companies that are using this particular data, they may be breached with respect to security. There may be breach with respect to this particular data. The data may be sold to some other companies. Data may be leaked to some other companies. This should not happen. So definitely government are coming up with different, different uh, strict and regulated policies to uh, prevent a data security breach. Uh, apart from that, definitely healthcare is one of the wonderful domain that you should definitely work in guys. Take a chance, try to solve some Kaggle problem statement. You'll get to understand whole lot of things with respect to that. So yes, this was all about this particular video. I hope you like it. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. See you in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all.